Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I just want to show you a little project that I worked on yesterday afternoon, and it is there in front of you. I have made a partition in the greenhouse, and we now have a warmer growing side and a cooler growing side. So back here, I'm with um, a lot of the Nepenthes, the Highland Nepenthes, the Mastavelias, stuff like that, the cooler growing orchids, um, Dracula orchids, stuff like that. Miltoniopsis I see back here. A lot of stuff that um, really appreciates a good drop at night. And then we have the rest of the orchids over there. There's Phalaenopsis and there's Vandas and there's all kinds of stuff that doesn't necessarily need quite the, um, the drop in temperature. So I'm going to show this to you in just a sec. The other reason I did this um, is for the winter time, not so much for the summer. Because the summer is just, it's nice and warm throughout the whole greenhouse. But I'm going to heat the warm side to a different temperature than I am the cooler side. And that way I have two different temperature zones. So let's go have a closer look here. So I have used a clear vinyl, just like you would use for, um, that, you, that comes with the cheaper greenhouse kits that are soft plastic. So it is um, very clear. I wanted to make sure you didn't really have the um, illusion that there was a wall there. And so this is down for now just for filming, but really the door itself is going to be rolled up for the whole summer and just gonna come down in the winter. But let's have a closer look here. So you can see it here, there's the vinyl. Um, and just it's nine o'clock in the morning and there's distinctly two temperatures right now in the greenhouse. The sun's just starting to come in, as you can see. And I can feel it warm in here, but the other side, I was just in there and it's already 25 plus Celsius or 80 plus Fahrenheit in there. So what I have done is these, this wall at the back here is solid. And I have a two foot panel right here. And that is a solid wall. And then at the back here, I have got more plastic right beside, you can see the um, lowland chamber on the other side of that. That's still in the warm side, of course. The plastic goes right to the polycarbonate over there. Doesn't look as pretty there just because um, there's no structure on the other side. Up top, it is sealed as well. Again, up there didn't look as pretty because that's like nine and a half feet and um, I have a little step ladder in here. And so it's quite far away. But up here looks really good. You can't even tell it's there. You can see the shade cloth on the outside, those wavy lines. That's just the design in the shade cloth. So just to give you an idea what that is. And then this is the door. The door is three feet wide. I wanted it nice and wide for the summertime. And then because the outside doors, I have a double door here, but I only ever use this one. This one here is permanently sealed, but if I need to bring something big in the greenhouse, now we have a wall in the way. So what I did was this is just a hanging wall and it actually is just hanging up there on some eye hooks and it can be taken down at any time and moved out of the way if I need to get to the double doors to open them. So let's just have a look inside here. We'll go inside the other side. I left all the fans on in here. So now you can get a glimpse of the other side of it. So it's made with two by fours for the solid pieces and two by twos for the, um, the just the hanging door here. Doesn't need to be structural, although it um, is pretty good. Uh, you can see I've attached ribbons here. That is, I'm just working on it like just one of those little um, cheap greenhouses you get, like I have out front for my temperate carnivorous plants. To get rid of this door, I just roll it up, roll, 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 and then tie it way up here. This is just above seven feet tall here, and it just um, sits nicely right there at the seven foot mark, so it'll be nice and wide open in here. And man, the difference in temperature is amazing. There is, we're at 30 degrees in here, and 20 degrees on the other side. But like I say, this is um, not for summertime. If this was left like this in the summertime, this side of the greenhouse would cook. This is the south side anyways, and it gets hot. So to make this not in um, just sort of a waste here of space, what I'm also going to do, and this will be on the next video, is I'm going to put some screening down this side. 
and have a two by seven foot panel of screening to hang any kind of mounted orchids or pots on. And I'm gonna do that on this side as well. A two by seven piece of screen. So this is gonna form sort of another extra wall. It's giving me more space in essence. And I'm gonna do the same to the outside of it. So this wall is, is going to double. Both sides are gonna have plants hanging off of it. And I think it's gonna give me lots more space. I mean, it's a vertical wall, but essentially it's giving me four two foot by seven foot panels to hang stuff on that wasn't there before. And this side is just going to be nicely heated for the winter. Being at summertime, I don't even have the heater in here at this point, but I'll have one heater in here and then probably the backup heater on the other side in case it gets too cold. This is an airtight, as you can see, that's the way it's gonna be there. It's not airtight. So the heat, I'm not worried if it bleeds out and into the rest of the greenhouse. It's just going to warm the rest of the greenhouse up anyways. But there we go. There is a video on my new division in the greenhouse. Two separate heat zones. One for warm growing orchids, one for cool growing orchids. Anyways, I hope you like this video. Um, make sure you look out for the next video when I have the screens up. I just wanted to show you this while it was nice and um, easy to see without the um, metal screens on. And yeah, wait for that video, check that out. And if you want to see updates on this, make sure you subscribe to my channel. As always, thanks for watching.